Welcome back guys to Geeks of the Realm and in this video we're going to be making a wet palette. Now this is part of our painting a miniature tutorial series okay so this is something that I use when I'm painting miniatures um, so I'm going to show you guys how to make them I'm going to tell you what it's for and really how easy it is and how cheap it is to get one okay guys so stay tuned back in a second. Okay guys, a wet palette, what is it? And all it is, is a container for you to put your paint, so you've took out your pot and it's somewhere to put your paint where it's gonna keep moist and it's gonna keep um, um, keep its flow better, okay? Um, we can also use it to mix colors and keep the colors that we've mixed, keep them still moist so we can use them again in a week or two time, okay? Now you can buy these, um, these palettes, these wet palettes, already made, they cost anywhere from five to 15, 20 quid, something like that. It can be quite expensive for what they are. However, I'm gonna teach you how to make it on the cheap, okay? So this is one that I already um, have, okay, I already made, and all it is is a Tupperware box, okay? A sealable Tupperware box, and inside we've got our wet palette. Now, I haven't used this for, oof, must not use this one for about three weeks, okay? Now, I have not done anything else with it, but as you can see, yeah, we've got paint on the end of my finger. And I've not used this for about maybe two, three weeks. Yeah, so it still keeps it all moist. Now the reason why I haven't used this one is because I've made a different one, okay? And the reason why I made a different one is because this is quite deep. So when I'm actually putting my paintbrushes in there, yeah, it actually got quite deep, so I have to make sure my hand's in there and, you know, it's just a bit of a, a bit, bit awkward, really. So what I did do is I bought myself a smaller, thinner Tupperware box. Yeah, I think I picked this up for one pound, maybe one pound fifty. Okay, and I've been using this, but because I need to change it, because I've used lots of colours in it, I've done all sorts of mixing with it, and thought, do you know what? I'm going to make a video and show you guys how quick and simple and cheap it is to make a wet palette. So, here we go. <coughs> right, guys. So all you need is a Tupperware box or a sealable. Um, tub that you can put it, uh, you can make it sealable so it's leak proof and stuff. You need one of them, some scissors, some kitchen roll, and this stuff. This is grease proof paper, baking, baking tray paper, you know what you get. Um, again, I think you pick this up for about a quid, and you this is five meters, and this will last me for oh, years. Alright, guys, so you don't need, you know, you don't need to buy five meters every every month it is literally by five meters and that'll last you for years guys all right oh and then the last ingredient is over here some water now you don't need to use all this water okay this is just enough for me to put in here and put in some of my pots so how do we make it well first of all we take the lid off and then we've got our um our container then what we do is we get one sheet, so one square of kitchen roll. Now you can see it's a bit too big to go in there. So all we do is we fold it down, okay? Until we make sure we get all around the edges. So about there. Okay, so we're gonna need to fold it there. There we go, and we fold it this side. Okay, maybe this side as well. And all we're doing is making it so it fits the tub, like oh, like so. Doesn't matter if a little bit sticks up. Just turn that back in there like that. There we go. Okay. There we go. So it's in there. Okay, as you can see, I've still got a little bit sticking up, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Okay. So now the reason why we put that in there is because that's what's going to soak our water up, okay? And this will stay moist as long as we keep the lid on it, okay? And that's what gives us our, our moist um, part of the, the, the paint. So once you've done that, we then take a square, let's say, square of greaseproof paper, okay? Like so. Now all I'm going to do 
is I'm going to cut it out to make sure it's the same size as my tub. So it's over there, to there. So let's take these parts off first. That's what that there is. Now it doesn't matter if it's a little bit short inside the uh, the tub. Yeah, because it's not where it's it's on this is where you're gonna put your paints. So that fits in there nicely. And then what we're gonna do is gonna trim it at the top. See if it fits in. Put it a little bit little, little bit big, so we just fold it back off again. Now, the reason why we use greaseproof paper, okay, is because it's quite porous still, so um, the water can penetrate through it. But the paints, when you put on when they put the paints on, on it. It doesn't drip all the way through, okay, so it tends to keep moisture rotating it round. Um, you don't want a lot of moisture on top of this um, from the water because it'll just make all your paints too runny and they'll run into each other and you don't want that. Okay guys? So, our square. Okay, perfectly in there. Yep. Then all we do is we'll get our water and we just pour our water on. Now we pour it on the top first. I only put, I only put probably about um, 50 ml of water in and then I'm just going to mix it around, around all the edges so it soaks in to the paper. Okay, you can see it's a little bit dry down there so I'm going to add a little bit more water. Yeah, make sure it's all mixed in. Yeah. Now I put all that water in there, as you can see, none's tipping out. Okay, that's what we want. We want it to be moist but we don't want it to be where it's so full of water where when you tip it the water starts tipping out okay and then just all you got to do is mix your hands onto the greaseproof paper just pat it down a bit and there you have it that is as easy as it gets to be a wet palette now I'll show you the do why we do that and what's it for okay so let's just say I take some doomble brown here okay now normally if I mix it into this yeah, I'll put it in. So I'll put a bit in there. I just put it on top like that. And then I'll put the tiny spout on there and I'll just put it in the top here. Okay. And I'll wash it off. Okay. Put a bit of water into this one. Like you always do, you always mix your paints with water to thin it down. And makes it go further and it also um, dries on your miniatures a lot nicer. Because if you put it straight from the pot, Sometimes people put it on too thick and if they put it on too thick you're going to miss details, it's going to look chalky, it's going to look gloopy, you're going to have brush strokes through it and you don't really want these models to look like you've put too much paint on because they just look awful. Okay, So as you can see on here, that part there, we've still got a little bit of moist on it with. Yeah? Now that will be dry within five minutes. Yeah, There's my brown that I've put in. Okay, This brown yeah so I've mixed it with water so you don't need to put any water on it because it's already got water in here yeah and as you can see you're bringing it out you can actually see the water mixing into the paint and then you can just use that over and over again yeah and when you're finished with this all you've got to do is put the lid on it and there you go now the paints won't fall won't drip this is brilliant for mixing your paints as well. So when we look at doing wet blending, um, I'll be using this um, to put the different colours in and then mix them together so you've got a nice gradient. Um, this is perfect for that as well. Because if I'm going to do, say, a unit of 10, um, I don't know, Nomati Thralls or something, when I'm painting them and I've got a, a special colour that I'm using, usually it'll dry quite quickly with this. In here, it'll last for a long time. So if I paint two of them or three of them, I go right. I need a bit, a bit of a rest now. You know, I've painted for a while. You know, I'm bored of painting. Then what can I paint now? I can go and do something else. I'll still have the colour that I was using. I can just come back to that colour um, a week, two, three. You know, this has been about three weeks probably. Actually, three, four weeks, and it's still got the, it's still got the paint in there. Okay, as you can see, it's still all wet. Yeah, um, and that's it, guys. So, that is our wet palette. See you in a second. Right guys, so that is it. That is our video of making a wet palette. Something quick, simple, 
and easy to use. A lot of people sort of don't understand how you know how to use these or what it's all about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you when I do the wet blending. I'll show you how to use these properly when I when I do the wet blending and, and use it. But really, if I put all the paints in here, I can put this in my bag and I can take it with me and paint you know someone else's house or wherever. So it's a nice thing to get, guys. Um, I do recommend using these because it keeps the paints thin. It doesn't dry them out. And if you're especially batch painting loads, you'll have the uh, correct colour, really, as you're using it all the way through. Alright guys, so, I hope that video helps. Uh, please subscribe, um, you know, leave any comments in below as well, guys, and hopefully I'll be able to uh, produce some more good videos for you. You take care.